Hello, my friends. Well, I'm going to do a pour today, a swipe. But first up is the drawing for the winners of the four paintings I'm giving away in celebration of 8,000 subscribers. So let's begin. So I'm at, I'm at commentpicker.com and I've entered the video which you needed to comment on and there's 93 comments so your chances are pretty good I have four items to give away let's start with the the first one I'll just prop it up here the um, trompe l'oeil magnifying glass so let's see I think you can see pretty good now start and up we go look at all those names there Kathy Nordland Congrats on reaching, uh, reaching 8,000 subscribers. Woohoo! I love watching your channel and gaining inspiration from the beautiful artworks you create. Well, thank you, Kathy. You need to email me your mailing address, and I will get that painting off to you. I'm going to write your name down here, attach it to that painting. Oops, I'm going to drop things. <laughs> Okay, that's one. Next up, we have Space Daisies. This was a video I did and I'm teaching you how to paint these daisies and block out part of your a pour. And it's in this nice wooden frame, all wired and ready to hang, as is that previous one. So I'll just rest that there. And... Where's the start button? Pick another winner. Oh, okay, here we go. Angel Abstract Art. Oops. I gotta get rid of this. What? 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 <laughs> Malware Crusher. Malware. Whatever that is. Okay. Angel Abstract Art. Thank you. You're a good teacher. Love the space daisies. Well, you won the one you wanted. That's nice. Angel abstract art you need to come um, contact me with your mailing address angel and I will get that in the mail to you okay I love that you you got you won the one you loved <laughs> okay next up we have the flamenco dancer this was a, a series I did on how to paint this gal start to finish. So let's see. I can balance that there and pick another winner. Where's the cursor? There it is. Lori Cleary. Oh, good. Lori comments a lot. I like to see a familiar name. Lori Cleary, congratulations to you on your 8,000 plus subscribers. Those mats are gorgeous. I'd love to win any one of those beautiful pieces. Well, you won the you won the flamenco dancer, Lori. Congratulations. Send me your mailing address. Okay, and last but not least, we have this embellished one. It's a it was a swipe when I added some, I painted some seashells and seagrass on there. So I'll balance that there and here we go. Pick another winner. Shannon Johnston. Congrats on reaching 8k subscribers. Such a huge achievement. Thank you, Shannon. So if the four of you will kindly send me your um, mailing addresses. I will get these off in the mail to you. you. You have one week, please, to get to me with your address. And um, otherwise, they're going to stay on my on my website. <laughs> so, um, thanks so much, everyone, for participating and for your support. I do appreciate it. And now, let's get to today's pour. Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a swipe today with Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pour Paints. 
it's going to be similar to this one that I did. This was video number 157, and I have extended the paints with a glue and Floetrol mix, which I will put down below in the description box. This is on my website if anyone's interested. I call it murmuration because it looks to me like a flock of birds. You know how, how wonderful that looks when they all fly together in formation. And you do have the option of a frame if you'd like. This is a, um, a narrow, a shallow canvas. So I, I think it looks best in a frame, but not everyone likes that. So that is optional. And that's that. But today I'm working on a deep canvas. So I've pre-painted the sides. So um, it'll look nice as I as I tilt and some of it will run over, but maybe not all of it. So I'm using metallic uh, magenta deep, metallic copper, deep yellow and orange. And then my swipe color is going to be black to which I've added two drops of silicone. So let's get to it. Just gonna lay it across in stripes. It's going to look similar um, to that last one, that, but that one had red and gold in it. And this time I was anxious to try the new colors, new to me anyway, the copper and the magenta. And with the black, I, I just think it could be quite lovely. And what's left? Magenta. Hmm, magenta next to yellow. I don't know about that, but too late now. <laughs> okay. Okay, now um, I'm gonna tilt it around a little bit to smooth the paint out around on the, on the surface. Fill in the gaps and get everything level. Okay, I'm reminded by when I did this that on a previous one of these, I was a little skimpy on the sides with paint and I had a problem with that. So I'm gonna touch up a couple of areas here. I see it's a little thin of paint. Else, that orange. Rather address it now than try to have to fix it later, which was <laughs> quite the challenge. Oh, 
Okay. All right. And here we go. Um, with the black, I'm just going to run it uh, stirring again really well. I'm going to run a nice strip right in the middle and then swipe it both directions. Okay, I have some palette paper here. It just about anything will work, but I like this. It's got a you know, kind of a waxy side to it. Here we go. Whoa, it's just wide enough. I didn't test that. Make sure I have good contact all the way across. And gently slide down. Okay. Good. That's just what I hope to see. Get a new piece of palette. I have a second piece of palette paper here. I don't want to drag all that color across. Um, pull away from me, which I don't like doing, but, uh, but I'm going to. go. Oh, it's kind of nerve wracking getting to the end there. Back together. Okay, pretty. There's no need to hit it with a torch. <laughs> But I do like to move it around to get movement in the painting and to stretch those cells, make them um, like this, hopefully, like that. Get some different, different size and um, some interesting moving in there. So let's see. Look at that. I got a stripe of magenta going that way. That's odd. I think I had a kind of a puddle of magenta there, perhaps. All right. I actually don't love the way the sides are looking, so I might end up painting them black again, after all. See, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'll do. Make up my mind later. Here it goes. Here it's moving down on this end. I don't want a big black stripe in the middle, so I'm pushing paint into the center there. And then I'll move it some more. I kind of I like how the cells kind of squish together in some areas and elongate in others.
Okay, let me size this up. I'm liking, I'm liking the top there. I'm in the middle. This is a little stretched out. It's not bad, but I'm going to bring it down this way. Turn it towards you so you can watch it happen. I don't want the same thing. I don't, don't want to just move it all to this side and have the this all stretched out. So I'm watching both ends as I move it. Oh, I'm liking it. Almost done, I think. There's always one corner that is troublesome when I do this, and that's the one I'm pouring off right now. There we go. I like it. This is very fun over here. I'm gonna turn it around. I think I think this uh, the orientation I'm going to turn it towards you is the one I I like. Or this would be the bottom. I like this area very much. That's fun. Yeah. Not crazy about the sides. That's going to take some work afterwards. Maybe not. As it drips down, it might it might look okay. So, there you have it. So fun to play with these paints. I if you have some, I would recommend you try this recipe and um to extend them and get some some fun effects. Let me bring you in a little closer. A lot of good movement right in there. I like it. I'm happy. Yippee. <laughs> it's always a challenge. Fluid art is always a challenge. You just never know. You could try to repeat something and usually it, it comes out different. But there you go. Thank you, my friends. And again, those of you who were the winners in the drawing, please contact me within the next week. And I, will, I look forward to sending your paintings to you. Thank you again, everyone, for your support, and I'll see you next time.